In all honesty, I think Germany has the ugliest websites I've ever seen in my whole life. And I think I'm going to make my life's mission to redesign them all, whether they like it or not. <laughs> and on that note, I guess this is the introduction for a new series on this channel, where we are going to be redesigning ugly websites. Because, oh my God, my eyes are bleeding every time I go online in Germany, seriously. Okay, so this is what we are working with today. I think you can see this website is a hot mess. There's no call to action on the hero section. There's just a video that I think lasts for, I don't know, probably 10 seconds or something like that. And then you have this image and there's absolutely no call to action. This is such a huge mistake, but I'm not gonna get too much into that. All right, so one problem that we have already, except for the call to action missing in action, <laughs> as you can see, there's a button here where you can translate the page. It doesn't work. That's one thing. And let's translate the page to know what we are dealing with here. All right, so as you can see, the website is very colorful but not in a good way it's very amateurish and there's no structure to what they are offering you don't know what what is the price list yes i'm going to memberships okay fine but this needs to be a little bit more clear the moment you land on their website right because and by the way this is my gym this is the gym where I go and when I decided to go there I went on their website and oh my god I had a mini heart attack seriously seeing this oof. but okay anyway we are going to be focusing today on the landing page because as I said no no this is a no-go seriously no go I've never seen a website on which you would land and there would be no call to action whatsoever there's nothing nothing whatsoever i mean i understand that women work out there but i don't need to see the women working out right for 15 seconds it makes no sense whatsoever okay now that we have that out of the way let's get on to redesigning okay so i took screenshots of the pages hero sections to have them here for reference and let's see what i came up da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion, this is a hundred times better, if not more than that. <laughs> but then again, I'm subjective. I made it, so that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. So let's go through my thought process here. All right, so first of all, I kept their logo. Obviously, I was not going to rebrand the gym. So I used their logo. And as you can see, the color scheme of the logo is present in the hero section in the buttons here and here, of course, and in the image behind the ladies. I made this image and I thought, what a better way to, to make it a little bit stand out and also show the branding of the gym. And I think it gives a little bit of a polished look, elegant and maybe timeless. And as I said, I go to this gym and I've seen that the women there are of all sizes, colors, ethnicities, as well as ages. So I said, what better way to show that this is an inclusive gym than to put a group of women laughing, being happy, and as well as, as, well as showing it all. <laughs> being very comfortable in their own skin right because this is all women want when they go to a gym feel comfortable accepted and safe and i think this image represents that and if i worked with the gym owners on this website i would have recommended to them to arrange for a photo shoot where actually there would be more women in the image and more diverse but i think this image evokes that message at least the message that i want to evoke all right so we also have here a circular text that says frown fitness and this on a live website would go in a loop in circle obviously and i think this also gives it that touch of femininity but also tells you that this is a gym for women because this is what it means frown fitness it means women's fitness so the moment you land on this website you know that this is a women's gym all right let's move on to the text that we have on the left hand side and i chose two fonts that are a little bit not that used i guess i used font joy to generate a few fonts and i tried 
some fonts around and I landed on this and I think okay maybe I'm reaching here a little bit but as you can see the font has this round edges and somehow to me this evokes especially the G as you can see here it, it gives me the impression that this is a woman's body like the women's curves are somehow intertwined here I think I'm reaching but <laughs> maybe not I think it's to me it's very representative and I also added three points here the website did not have this kind of information structured in a way that you would know what to expect basically when you land on this page you know okay how many fitness coaches do they have how many classes how many members you know immediately and somehow psychologically this triggers a sort of a credibility point for the gym or not necessarily social proof but this gives credibility to the gym I mean they do have fitness courses of they have 52 fitness courses they do have 15 expert trainers i don't know how many members exactly they have but that's a fictional number i put there but that's they have members so it's safe to say that the gym is pretty good right that's what i would think and then i added two buttons one to join the gym join now and another one to book your trial because they do have this option where you would book your trial and then if you decide that the gym is for you you would join the gym and now on to the navigation bar we have a home about pricing and course schedule i know that some Sometimes it's not necessary to have a home button but I did not want to assume that everybody knows how to use the web in the sense that okay if you click on the logo the logo will take you home so there's no assumption here I decided to have a home button because I think in, the, in terms of UX that would be much better for the users and about tab pricing of course because whenever somebody lands on a gym's website what do you want to see what do you want to see on your gym website? I want to see the prices. I want to see course schedule. And then I added another join now button, call to action again. And of course, this button would be the language changing button. Okay, so I decided to tackle the mobile version as well, because as you might imagine, this is how it looks, not pretty. Of course, this video is playing in the background at the top of the page. There's no call to action, of course, and I don't agree with this. <laughs> So this is what I came up with. I think it looks pretty slick and it's it's fresh, it's vibrant, it's it's feminine and it's new. <laughs> if you want to learn how to pair fonts like a pro, watch this video here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.